What is going on, everybody? It's your boy Sanjeet back at it with another video. The Las Vegas Raiders have fired their defensive line coach, Frank Oakham, and I want to talk about it a little bit. You know, the Raiders' defense was very, very bad this past year, and in my opinion, a big part of that was because the defensive line wasn't very good. Uh, we weren't very good at generating pressure. Max Crosby had 12.5 sacks, and besides Max, everyone else combined had nine total sacks. Chandler Jones had 4.5 of those nine sacks. He literally had half of them. That means every other defensive lineman the Raiders had, minus Max Crosby and Chandler Jones, accounted for like 15 to 20% of the sacks. Like, that's not okay in my opinion, right? In my opinion, you got to get more production out of your defensive line. In my opinion, as a coach, you have to be better. And Frank Oakham just wasn't very good. So the Raiders have officially let him go. I think this is the right way forward because Patrick Graham can now go out and find that coordinator that can help the Raiders get back into being a top 10 defensive line. You know, not a lot of D-lines out there have a top 5 defensive end and another guy that's probably in the top 15. Obviously, the Raiders do have some issues within the defensive line, let's be honest. Uh, they don't have any interior defensive linemen that can really get after the quarterback. We'll talk about that in just a second, but... Uh, there's going to be an interesting set of guys that are kind of out there that Patrick Graham can go out and get. Um, Matt Edwards is a guy that's already within the coaching staff, as well as uh, Coach Ryan, who was in a, a special assistant last year. Um, so we have two guys at the very minimum that may get the promotion to being the defensive line coach. But the Raiders got to get it fixed because our defensive line was really, really bad last year. Let's just be honest. Our defense line was not consistent. Uh, they weren't able to get pressure. They weren't able to generate and get after the quarterback consistently. And in my opinion, you know, when we first got Jerry Tillery, right, when the Raiders first got Tillery, we brought him in. For the following four weeks, we got so much pressure. And the thing is, is it wasn't just Tillery. Yeah, he was beneficial to the Raiders. He was definitely getting after. He was definitely, um, you know, he, he was collapsing the pocket a little bit more than what we had in the past. But in my opinion, it wasn't enough after that, right? The final three to four games, we really were bad once again. And it's just been inconsistent. And it hasn't even been this year. We've been inconsistent for a number of years. So for me, Patrick Graham has to find that guy that can take us to that next level. Now, obviously, um, regardless of which coach we bring in, you still got to do one big thing if you're Dave Ziegler. That is you got to find talent. You got to bring in pass rushers on the defensive line and it's not even just at the interior defensive tackle spot let's be honest right um in my opinion you got to get guys on the outside you got to get more depth on the outside and that too like frank oakham made some in my opinion poor decisions uh i don't know why malcolm coons didn't play more this year right he's a guy on a rookie contract it was his second year let him get experience let him get those reps and let him play a little bit. Let's see what he has. And instead, they roll forward with a guy like Cleveland Farrell, who, let's be honest, will probably not be here next year. Sure, I would love to bring him in if he took a cheaper team-friendly deal, but that's likely not going to happen, in my opinion. Um, what would make more sense is let's develop some of the younger guys, let's develop some of the guys that may have some upside. And, of course, it's generally the defensive line's coach's decision on which guys play, which guys don't get to play. Um, I think decisions like that kind of held the Raiders back a little bit. Regardless of that, you got to add talent, right? Got to get some defensive end depth, and that's going to be the big thing the Raiders have to do. There's a lot of D tackles out there to be had. You know, just between guys like Deron Payne, guys like Javon Hargrave, you got two guys that'll come in day one and have an immediate impact. An impact that'll fire up guys like Max uh, Crosby and Chandler Jones. Uh, could help guys like Malcolm Coons develop even more. Uh, on top of that, then you can, as a defensive coach and Patrick Graham, you can cost certain stunts and games and those type of things, right? To me, you got to get that guy that's going to come in and actually make a difference. On top of that, maybe you target a guy in the second round, right? A guy like Siaki Ika or Brian Brazé, depending on if he goes in the first round or not. Um, Kalaja Kansi may be there as well, right? Those are three D tackles that, in my opinion, can change the Raiders defensive line you know I don't think the Raiders need to focus a whole lot on the offense I think they got to fix the defense obviously we got to get a quarterback but once you have a quarterback you got to fix the defense and it's going to start with the interior defensive line it's going to start with the secondary and, and potentially bringing in a guy like Jesse Bates or one of these top tier free agents maybe as Jimmy Ward 
for a year or two, you know, pair him up with Deron Harmon and hopefully Trayvon Merrick can develop a little bit more. Again, there's a lot of ways you can build this defensive line and this defense, generally speaking, if you're Patrick Graham, but you got to get players. So Dave Ziegler has to bring in some guys. And in my opinion, if Ziegler's not able to do it this offseason, he's got to go. Uh, there's no reason why with the amount of cap space the Raiders have this year, right, with third in cap space, uh, next year over $100 million in cap space, there's no reasons and no excuses why the Raiders can't bring in talent, right? Jesse Bates wants to get paid, as is Deron, Deron Payne. Pay those guys. Bring those guys in and fix this defense because that's the way the Raiders are going to move. Frank Oakham being fired, I think it's just the first step in improving your defense. Obviously, he wasn't that great of a defense line coach. The sacks and the quarterback pressures kind of backed all that up. Either way, I'm excited to see what the Raiders do going forward. Let me know what you guys think. Thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time with another video.